Hi there! In Mendix 7.4, all your offline objects are now editable, list view requests have been optimized, and a new mobile device widget and image viewer widget are now available in the Mendix App Store. In Mendix 7.4, they've made it easier to edit objects in offline mode, including ones that have been synchronized to and received from the runtime. This means that you can now freely edit your objects at any point in your application, allowing multiple users to update records simultaneously. Updating records at the same time also opens the possibility of synchronization conflicts. Luckily, we've published a module to the App Store that will help you set up the automatic conflict resolution of your offline apps. With this release, we optimize how the list view widget fetches its data. From now on, if a list view contains associations, the associated data will be fetched together with the main list view data in one request. This provides a huge performance increase, because it reduces the number of requests to the server. We released two new widgets to the Mendix App Store. The first is the Mobile Device widget, which lets you retrieve the device ID, the platform type, iOS or Android, and the app name and app version. You can use this information to create several interesting use cases. For example, you can use the platform type to create a different look and feel for iOS and Android devices, or use the app version to check if users have the correct version of your app installed. We have also released the image viewer widget that supports different sources, like uploaded images and external hosted images. A nice feature is that it allows you to show the image full screen and zoom in and out with the buttons or by using the pinch to zoom gesture. Just look at that cute kitten. That covers the highlights for this release. To learn more, check out the release blog on menix.com slash blogs and the release notes on docs.menix.com. Thank you for watching and see you at the next release.